a land of living legends. Long ago, brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes, called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties, and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together they will defend the Eternia Crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. his robe and wizard hat, the apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Ah! Brave knight in training, the squire upholds the honor and nobility of his kingdom with every slice of his blade. Building defenses of brute force and limited range, the squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeoning spikes and whirling blades unleash the rage he bestows upon his foes. <laughs> Trained in reconnaissance, the sleek and slender huntress deploys deadly traps and explosives. But do not be fooled by her appearance. This elegant she-devil is trained in ranged weaponry and is sure to always hit her mark. Launching a volley of arrows from the shadows, the enemy never sees her coming. Once a peaceful and passive student, the monk has been called from his solitary meditation and forced to take up arms in the defense of his land. Only he, through his expert spear-fighting skill, can avenge the death of his master. Channeling his aura, the monk uses energy to heal his allies and cripple flows. A sly trickster born in a whimsical realm of chaos. The jester's true motives are shrouded in mystery. On the battlefield, the jester can quickly turn the tide of battle by improvising to effectively use any weapon and by deceiving enemies with cunningly placed presents which unpack random defenses and bonuses. Her move tower ability allows her to adapt defensive strategies and react to any combat situation. And her Wheel of Fortuna ability can grant boons or decimate friend and foe alike. If you're looking to spice up your strategies with versatility and light-hearted mischief, then perhaps you too will succumb to the Jester's allure. A mysterious visitor from the crystalline dimension, the Summoner has decided to wage his own personal war across Etheria 
for reasons unknown. With two pets by his side, the summoner can form minions out of sentient crystal and build an army to follow his every command. By entering Overlord mode, the summoner can retreat at any time to his crystalline realm to supervise his real-time strategy from an omniscient top-down perspective. As he selects units and issues a variety of orders, the summoner exercises supreme tactical control over his troops and his team's defenses. Furthermore, his flash heal ability instantly heals all allied units and defenses within a radius, and his phase shift ability can move his ghostly avatar around the physical realm while remaining immaterial and unseen by enemies. For the master strategist seeking to pull the strings from above, or the brave commander ready to personally lead his army into battle, the summoner is an essential addition to the team. Assembled long ago by a master mechanic within the depths of Sky City, the series EV Automaton has been powered back to life and is ready for action. By placing down an array of powerful electronic beams of any length, EV can decimate enemy forces across linear distances. She can also store guns and magic staffs in her memory bank, reproducing their capabilities with her assimilable range cannon and can switch between any two such weapons on the fly. EV can consume vast quantities of mana power to unleash a destructive proton charge blast and can also project a holographic decoy which will attract and confuse enemies before exploding in their faces. Series EV may wish to be a real human being but it's her extreme robotic capabilities that make her such a devastating addition to any team of defenders. Healing from the dense jungle lands far to the south, the Barbarian is a masterful fighter who can wield two melee weapons simultaneously. Switching between five distinct fighting stances, the Barbarian is able to adapt to any combat situation. His battle leap ability allows him to instantly close the distance to a far-off target, while his battle pound ability will decimate any nearby enemies. If massive damage and incredible destruction are what you seek, the Barbarian is the hero for the job. Proud Ethereum warrior of noble descent, the Countess can more than hold her own against the great warriors of the realm. Though she favors brute force melee combat, she still has increased mobility over her male counterparts. Her joust ability allows her to push through enemy lines with unstoppable force, while her call to arms ability allows her to rally her allies to the cause, boosting their morale. Though she can be stubborn at times, she'll never back down from a fight. Hailing from the Wood Elves' traditional home near the great forest of Mistymire, the ranger is a formidable warrior. Unlike his nimble female counterpart, his hardier constitution enables him to take a bruising. His invisibility shield enables him to cloak nearby allies and defenses along with himself, while his piercing spread shot can tear through lanes of enemies in a wide arc. This Pointy-eared warrior is a powerful ally to have in your traveling party. A student of the mountain monsters, the initiate has joined her counterpart to discover the truth behind her master's demise. Her increased spell casting and movement speeds are coupled with incredibly powerful radial abilities, including enemy drain, which rebuffs all nearby foes, and remote defense boost that buffs all the defenses of any nearby allies. She will not give up until death or vengeance is hers. An introverted trainee in the arcane arts, the adept has focused her energies to hone several unique magical spells. Her purifying blast unleashes a magical explosion of energy that will specifically decimate undead creatures and their necromancer masters. 
while her instant upgrade allows her to immediately upgrade any defense for a surcharge in mana. Though she can be a little shy at first, her increased speed allows her to hurry across the battlefield to wherever her urgent attention is required. Donning his robe and wizard hat, the apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. A mysterious visitor from the crystalline dimension, the summoner has decided to wage his own personal war across a theory. Etheria was once a land of living legends. Long ago, brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together, they will defend the Eternia Crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. Welcome, brave defender to the dungeons of Etheria. I am the spirit of champions, guide to all those who would claim the title of hero. I am summoned to those who are courageous of heart in times of great need. I will attempt to teach you the basic arts of dungeon defense. Heed my words well, for your life, nay, the fate of all Etheria may depend on it. Your mission is to defend the Eternia Crystals against all opposition through waves of enemy attacks. 
You can move around the area with the W, S, A, and D keys, and turn with the mouse. You can also press the space bar to jump. When holding the control key, you can move the mouse to rotate the camera. You can use the mouse wheel to cycle through camera zoom levels, while holding down the shift key will display the area map. Summoning defenses is essential to the survival of your Eternia crystals. While you may be a capable warrior, the sheer ferocity of the enemies you will be facing will require clever strategy and careful placement of your defenses. To summon defenses, first open your action wheel by pressing the middle mouse button. Good. Now use the mouse to select summon defenses from the action wheel. You may activate. Excellent. Now select. Now that you have activated the summon ability, you must decide where to place your defense. Move it with the mouse and then click to confirm. You may only place your defense within a radius around yourself, and defenses generally need enough free area to be summoned to a location. Go ahead. Summon your defense to a valid location now. Once your defense is summoned, you may then place more defenses during this build phase. Summoning defenses consumes mana power, which is the magical resource used for all your hero abilities, and to upgrade your equipment. Once you are ready to face your enemies, head to the Eternia Crystal and activate it with the E key in order to proceed to the combat phase. Notice the indicator in front of each creep door displaying the number and types of enemies that will be advancing from that location. Use this information to better plan your defensive strategy. When you do not have any more mana power, you should proceed to face your enemies by heading to the Eternia Crystal and activating it with the E key. Go ahead, do this now. Once you have entered the combat phase, the creep doors will open and enemies will seek out your Eternia crystals. Here's one now, a goblin. By default, the camera will zoom in during the combat phase. If you wish to return to the overhead camera, simply scroll the mouse wheel. You can also change this setting via the options menu. Watch your defenses annihilate this foul critter, or go forth and slay it yourself. Do not let it reach the Eternia Crystal. More fiends are arriving. They cannot be harmed within the dark energy around the creep doors, so only attack them once they become vulnerable. Steal yourself, little warrior, and defeat these creatures. Congratulations. You have survived your first wave of enemies. You may have taken some damage, however. You can heal yourself by opening the action wheel, activating the hero icon, and then activating your heal self ability. Each hero class has unique hero abilities. In addition, there are some abilities which all heroes share. By activating the corresponding abilities from your action wheel, you can repair your defenses, upgrade them, or even sell them. You can also bind any ability to a hot key by selecting that ability in the action wheel and holding keys one, two, three, or four. Then you can activate that ability by simply tapping the corresponding hot key. Look, a treasure chest has appeared near the Eternia crystal. Open it to see what is inside.
the treasure chest drops some equipment. You can use any equipment that you find by pressing the F key when you are near it. However, pay close attention. Equipment that is better than what you are currently using is highlighted in green. Pick up that equipment now. Equipment will enhance your hero statistics, which are viewable by pressing the I key. Each hero may equip a helmet, torso armor, gloves, boots, and a class-specific weapon. You may store excess equipment in your item box by highlighting dropped equipment and pressing the E key. Let's try another wave. Go ahead and summon your defenses, and then activate the Eternia Crystal once more. Be prepared for battle. A dark elf archer has arrived. These arrow-shooting enemies can be particularly dangerous to your vulnerable defenses and should be hunted down. Each wave, you will face greater numbers and more challenging opponents. Be prepared to defend your kingdom with your own strength and strategy. Well done. You will encounter a variety of twisted creatures in the course of your battles. But be wary of their unique tricks and behaviors. You must employ your best strategies to take advantage of their weaknesses. Some enemies have an elemental alignment. These monsters emanate fire, lightning, or poison, and are marked with the icon of the element they are immune to. Certain defenses also have an elemental alignment in which case they will be ineffective against such enemies. Yeah. By defeating your enemies and completing waves, you have earned sufficient experience points to level up. You may now choose to apply several points to any of the hero statistics that you desire. These may be applied during the build phase through the Hero Info interface. Choose wisely, young trainee. You may opt to specialize in one area or spread your points over a wide range of disciplines. The choice is yours. Apply your points and accept the level up. As you advance in level, your hero will be able to carry more mana power. This will enable you to summon even more types of defenses or upgrade those which you have already placed for additional power. 
If you do not wish to apply a level up immediately, you can apply points later from the forge. The forge draws power from nearby Eternia crystals. When close, press the E key to open the forge. Go ahead and do so now. At the forge, you can invest mana in equipment, enabling you to level up the item for increased power. You can also swap heroes at the forge, which will allow you to gain the benefits of each hero class's defenses. The forge may only be accessed during the build phase, so be sure to plan ahead. Such are the basics of the defensive arts. Now, about your hero class. Remember well what I have taught you. Should you need my help again, you may reset this tutorial from the options menu. Go forth, young acolyte. Summon your defenses, ready your weaponry, and then activate your Eternia crystal once more to face the terrible darkness that lies in wait on the other side and defeat it.
Welcome to your adventurer's tavern. Here, you and your fellow heroes will prepare for battle. You may buy and sell goods at the tavern keeper's shop, test your strength against training dummies, and compare and boast of your accomplishments and your permanently recorded statistics. These accomplishments will also be reflected in various trophies and decorations that will soon come to adorn your tavern walls. But most importantly of all, your tavern enables you to plan your upcoming exploits. By activating the Eternia Crystal, the owner of the tavern can access the mission setup. From there, the owner can access numerous options, including mission modes and difficulty. Choose wisely. While facing more challenging opponents offers great reward, these difficulties will truly test your hero's strength and strategy.
In addition to the campaign, your hero has access to a variety of challenge missions, each with its own unique objective. Survival mode pits you against infinite waves of enemies in a never-ending onslaught. For a harder challenge, attempt mix mode, in which waves of random enemies will advance from each creep door. Pure strategy mode offers classic tower defense. No weapons, no hero abilities, just defenses. These additional gameplay modes will be unlocked as you complete each campaign mission. Good hunting, hero. Keeper's shop is stocked with a variety of items that your hero might find useful, and you can also sell items to him through your item box. The tavern keeper will restock his items after each successful mission, but if you want him to hold on to a specific item, you can lock it to purchase later. The tavern keeper is an excellent huntsman and is skilled at taming some of Etheria's more domesticated creatures. Each type of pet has unique special abilities and a mind of its own, so finding a suitable pet to accompany you on your adventures can make all the difference. The Tavern Keeper also provides services, including re-specializing your hero's statistics, renaming your hero, and providing an experience point bonus. Make the best Watch out, these can be theory. expensive. As you complete more difficult missions, the Tavern Keeper may find ever more rare items and pets, so be sure to check back frequently to see what he's got for sale. Time is mana, friend. I'll have a lot of sorting to do after this is all over. I'll always give it a fair price. Thank you. 
Dark Elf Warriors know not to attack me.
What's a Leroy? Where's Bell? <laughs> Greetings. All of my weapons are super effective against goblins.
because it'll be a fine anything. 